What you're looking at right here is the Tink, a device that connects to your smartphone or tablet that'll help you monitor your fitness and wellness just by placing your thumb over two sensors. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and this is my review on the Tink, a very small device that'll track your heart rate, your respiratory rate, your blood oxygen level, and it'll put it all together in a very easy to understand application. So this is the app right here. I'll go through that in just a little bit, but first off, let's take a closer look at the Tink itself. Out of the box, this is how the Tink will look. Very small compared to my hand, tiny in fact. And you pull off the top here to expose the adapter. Now this one here obviously is using the lightning port, but you can get it for the old 30 pin adapter for the older iOS devices as well as Android devices. Now it does connect very simply. You just go ahead and plug it up. You'll see a little red light. And then you need to go ahead and download the free application, which we'll take a look at right now. So here is the application and when you first open it up, it'll give you options to create an account or start in guest mode. I've created an account right here so I can track my statistics over different periods of time and see how things are changing. So first off, let's just tap this V right here and this is going to open up the Vita section where we can measure our Vita stats. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that and we're going to put our thumb over the lights. Now what you want to do here is try to stay still and you want to traditionally be in a comfortable position. As it completes the test here, I just want to let you guys know that I've placed a link in the description box down below to give you guys more information on the Tink. You'll be able to see full specifications as well as other people's reviews and also see the different versions of this device because as I said, this is not just for the iPhone but for many different devices. So you'll probably be able to pick one up for a device you have. So the test is completed now and you can see I've got an 88 Vita score and I traditionally get between 85 to 90 in this score range and you can see that it's out of 99 points. So there's always room for improvement and you can see here we've got three numbers. This is basically your heart rate, your respiratory rate and your blood oxygen level. And if you want more information you can just tap the learn more section and it'll give you a brief rundown of what these numbers are and what you can do to sort of improve on them. You can also tap right here and it's going to give you the ability to retry the test discard it or save it. Now I save my tests because I like to see how I've been feeling in different situations and sort of write down a little note to let myself know what I've been doing. So I tap the add note section here. This time I'm creating a video. So I'll just write video and we'll hit the check mark. You can also shout this out if you want on Facebook and Twitter. You can go ahead and set that up as well. So I'll go ahead and hit done and it'll save this to my records. So this section here is your Vita statistics. Now you can access this again from this tab right here and you tap on my Vita, it'll take you here. You can see where your Vita score ranks up against the world. You'll also be able to see how your actual test averages out against the world averages here. And you can tap the science section which gives you a brief description of the ranges for Vita, individual perimeters and things like that and when you should take your Vita measurement. Also, there's a tutorial section here if you need it. Now, not only is this going to be tracking our fitness via the Vita statistic there, but you'll also be able to track your Zen. And this is all about relaxation, which is also a very important part to general health. So let's go ahead and tap measure Zen here. Now this one here is going to ask you to tap a circle based on how you're going to be breathing through this test. So you want to find a circle that's comfortable for you and then tap on it. And that's going to be your breathing rhythm through the test. So I traditionally pick the third one and uh, I go with that just because that's what's comfortable for me. So we'll tap on that. We'll put our thumb over the light and we're going to be breathing in and out. Now just to let you guys know I have sped up these tests through video editing just so you can get through this video a little bit quicker. So the actual time of the test is a little bit longer. Now once it's completed, you'll be able to see your Zen score here again out of 99. Now for me, I have trouble with the relaxation part of general health. I'm always having trouble sleeping. I have trouble getting up in the morning. It's always been a thing with me. And you can see it's showing. I'm only 61 out of 99 points, which is a calm statistic here. Doing well, keep calm and carry on practicing your breathing. Gives you a little description. We tap on the little triangle and it'll bring us again to this. I'm gonna save my statistic here once again. You can shout it out. You can add a note. I'm just going to type video once again 
and we'll go ahead and select that and we'll tap done and again you can check your science behind this so you can see where your statistic ranks up um, within the ranges for Zen when to take your Zen and then you've got your tutorial section here once again so those are the two tests built in to the application and it's going to test your fitness as well as your general health and relaxation and what you can also check on is this section here which is your achievements and your history so if we tap on history here you can check on how your Vita stats and your Zen stats have changed over time so as you can see daily if we go on monthly you'll be able to see that as well if we go on to the list view here you'll be able to see it in a different view and you can see I had a Zen score of 61 today I have taken Zen uh, tests in the past and what they've come out to is around 49 58 I just did them through the guest mode so just so you know it does track everything here for you you can also tap here and see achievements which is a cool interesting little thing it says your first Zen index measurement you get somewhat of a little badge for that and there's lots of little badges for you to sort of go through and improve you've also got points here so you can see how many points you have and in comparison to other people around the world as well so it kind of gives you some motivation take the test see how you're doing try to improve yourself Give yourself that motivation to uh, be healthier and live a better life. Now just before I end this video, let me just quickly show you what's inside the box and how this packaging actually looks. It's pretty nice uh, how they've packaged it premium feel to it front side of the box back side of the box is a lot of information on how it's tracking different things it's definitely a good read so hopefully you guys can see this if you can pause it take a look at that now inside the box here when you open it up everything is done super nice here you can see you've got the tink right here you've got your manual right here and this right here is actually a belt that you would sort of put over your thumb if you're getting inaccurate readings you'd put this over the tink over your thumb and you slide your thumb inside and it would let less light in which would disrupt these lights so it's a good little feature good little package and it's a good little device and when it comes to your health things like this anything that can help you stay motivated or somewhat give you um, the motivation to move forward and try to improve yourself these things are always good and for the price range this little device right here is a great addition to your health regimen. Anyway, as I said, there's a link in the description. So if you want more information, want to check it out or purchase it for yourself, you can definitely click that and do so. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you in the next one.